In this video, we're going to look at increasing or decreasing a quantity by a given percentage. We're going to do some calculator and some non-calculator examples. Let's start off with the non-calculator ones. So non-calculator. In the last video, I took £54. I'm going to use £54 again. We saw that if we built up a table of values, we could split this up. So we saw now that 100% of £54 gave us £54. So I wrote in 100% is 54. We saw that 50% was going to be half of 100%, so it's going to be half of 54, which gives us £27. We looked at 10%. 10% is going to be one tenth of 100%, or if you like, you're dividing by 10, so we need to divide this quantity by 10. That's going to give me £5.40. We looked at 5%. We could see that 5% was either going to be half of 10% or one tenth of 50%, and that gave us £2.70. We also looked at 2.5%. 2.5% was going to be half of 5%, which was £1.35. And we also looked at 1%. 1% is going to be one tenth of 10%, so we divide this one by 10, we divide £5.40 by 10, which gives me £0.54 or 54 pence. So these were the multipliers we bought up. What we're now going to do is look at increasing this quantity by a given percent. So what I'm going to look at, and writing this out, this is non-calculator, so we're going to say increase by, and the first one we're going to do is 10%. So if I want to increase £54 by 10%, I'm going to go ahead and find the 10%. So if I want to increase it by 10%, what I'm going to do is find 10%. So we can say 10% is going to be equal to £5.40, and I'm simply going to add it on. So we're going to get now the £54, which is the 100%. So £54 plus now the £5.40, and that gives me £59.40. Pence. So I've increased £54 by 10%. If you want, you could say that this is going to be 110% of the original and write this now as 100% plus 10% and add those together. That's entirely up to you. So that will give us a 10% increase. If we think about a 10% decrease, we could simply subtract this away. So what we're looking at doing is a 10% increase or a 10% decrease. I'm going to decrease this one. So let's go for this one. We're going to decrease the next one. Decrease by, and we'll take 11%. So what I'm going to do is take now 10% and 1%, add them together and subtract it. Alternatively, what you could say is that this is going to be 100% minus 10% minus 1%. So if I look at 10%, we're going to have now 10% is going to be £5.40. I'm going to have 1%, which is going to give me 54p or £0.54. I'm going to add those together. So we can see if I add these, we can say now from here that 11% is going to be now £5.94. And if we want to decrease the £54 by this, we simply subtract it away. So we're going to do the £54 minus £5.94. You can do that however you wish. We will get £48.06. So if you want to do a column subtraction, you're more than welcome to do so. With now the 54.00 minus now the £5.94, or you can do it with some form of mental subtraction. So this is increasing by 10%, we find 10% and add it on. Decreasing by 11%, we find 11% and take it off. So if I wanted to increase something by 22%, I could get two lots of 10, two lots of one, and then add it on. You're adding it on to the original. Let's take another sum. Let's take uh, 36 pounds. And what I'm going to do is increase 36 pounds. So we'll increase this now. So we'll say increase by... 5%. So I'm going to increase £36 by 5%. So 
So we can see that 100% the total amount is going to be £36. So if I write that down, £36, 10% is going to give me now £3.60. I can see from this that 5% is going to give me half of this, which is £1.80. So if I want to increase £36 uh, pounds by 5%, I'm going to do 36 and then I'm going to add to this now for £1.80, which is the 5%, and go ahead and add those. As we can see from here, this is going to give us £37.80. Again, if you want to go ahead and add that, you can do it using the column addition, or you can do it with some mental maths. So increasing or decreasing a quantity by a given percent. What we're now going to do is look at the calculator examples. So let's do some calculator examples. I'm going to build up now a table of values. If I multiply something by one, this is going to give me 100%. So what I'm going to do is write in here 100. Zero, zero. That's going to give me 100% or the value will stay the same. So this is everything. If I multiply this now by 1.01, .01, which I could write now as 101 over one, this is going to be giving me 101% or we could say an increase of 1%. Lots of different ways of looking at it. I just like to think about these multipliers. 1.02 is going to give me now a 2% increase or if you like 102% of the original. If I have 1.1 or 1.10 that is going to increase the value by 10%. As a fraction, this would be 110 over 100. Or, if you like, now for example this one, 101 of 100. Remember, percentage means out of 100. So 1.15, this is going to increase the value by 15%. When VAT comes in, 1.1, and then we're going to have 7.5 is equal to a 17.5% percent increase. VAT sometimes uh, appears at 17.5%. So if we had 1.25, this is going to be a 25% increase, or if you like, it's 125% of the original. If we work backwards, 0 0.99, or you could say that this is 99 100s, 99%, is going to give us now 99% of the original, or a 1% decrease. 0 0.98 would give us a 2% decrease or 98% of the original. 0 0.90 would give us now a 10% decrease or 90% of the original. If I put another one in, 0 0.75, that's going to give us now 75% of the original or a decrease of 25%. So these are the multipliers that we could use. So what I'm going to do is look at some of these. I'm going to increase now, let's say we've got 102 by 12%. So I could go ahead and find out 10%, 1% and 1%, but all I'm going to do is increase it. So my multiplier is going to be 1.12. I'm going to multiply that by 102 and then go ahead and find that answer. So let's do that one. So this is my multiplier, 1.12. We're increasing this by 12%. So multiplying that now by 102, that's going to give me now on here 114.24. So 114.24. I've not given a level of accuracy to round this to, if you like, 114.2 to one decimal place. Let's go for another one. Let's decrease. So let's decrease now. Uh, we'll go for 48.92 by, and then we'll take this one to be 17%. So I want to decrease it. If we think now, subtracting 17 from 100 is going to give me 83. So we could write this as 83% or 83 of 100 multiplied now by a value of 48.92, or we could use now the multiplier 0.83. Remember, this is just an equivalent decimal to this fraction. So 48.92, that will decrease it by 17%. So 
So let's go ahead and do that, 0 0.83, 0 0.83, and we're going to multiply that by 48.92, and we've got down here 40.6036. So I'm going to say that's equal to 40.6, and that's correct to 1 dp. So when you're doing these, look at them. Do they seem right? Is this logical? Does that look like it's increased by about 10%? Well, the answer is yes. Does this look like it's reduced by about 20%? The answer is yes. So always check that these now are logical. So let's now add VAT. Let's say VAT currently, now let's take VAT to be 17.5%. So let's say we want to now add VAT. So add VAT and we're going to have a kettle and the kettle is going to be now before VAT let's say 35 pounds and 42 pence so all we would do is take our multiply which is going to be 1.175 and multiply that by the 35 pounds and 42 pence and find out how much it'd be if we included VAT so 1.175 that's my multiplier and I'm going to now multiply this by the price and that's going to give me 35.42, that's the price, and we end up with 41 pounds and 62 pence to the nearest pound. So 41.62, let's write this in, 41.62, and that's now to nearest penny. So that's what we do, we're increasing to nearest penny, we're increasing this by 17.5%. So if we were told now that there's a sale, let's put a sale on, and we had now a 14% sale, so 14% sale in a shop, and there was a t-shirt, so let's write a t-shirt, and this was originally, let's say it's 64 pounds and eight pence. So we want to find what it'd be worth now in the sale after a 14% uh, decrease. So if we think of this, 14% of 100 is 86, so we could say that this is 86 100s, or 86%, multiplied by 64 pounds and eight pence, or we could say 0 0.86. So 0 0.86 times by 64.08 will give us that value, and let's work out what that's going to be. And as we can see, that's going to be going down in value, which is what we want. So 64 pounds and eight pence, and that's going to give us now on there 55 pounds and 11 pence to the nearest penny. So 55 pounds, let's just drop this in, 55 pounds and 11 pence, and that's to nearest penny. So just writing this in, nearest penny. So we're looking now at increasing or decreasing a quantity by a given percent. So if it's a non-calculator question, all you're doing is finding 5%, 10%, adding or subtracting, so increasing, we're going to add it on to the original. If we're looking at decreasing, we're going to subtract it from the original. If we're looking at calculator questions, having a table of multiplies, or thinking about these over 100 or over 1,000 if needs be, will give us now these multiples to increase or decrease by a given percentage.